Hallelujah. Somebody say, suddenly. Suddenly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the breath of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of God in this house. Hallelujah. I feel God's about to move in here. We thank God for all of our speakers. Hallelujah. We thank God for them. We thank God for suddenly. I want you to know you're just not here by accident today. Hallelujah. You are here because we have entered a new season. A new era of suddenly. <laughs> Hallelujah. You've been hearing these young, these ladies talking about suddenly. Amen. Because Pastor Tory, hallelujah, gave a word for the year as surge. And so we were told to just move in that vein. Amen. Amen. So we are moving in that vein. But I heard the Lord. Somebody say, I heard the Lord. Hallelujah. Say surge. Amen. Surge, as they said, is a powerful forward, upward movement. It can be a natural force such as a wave or a tidal wave. Amen. Surge is a, is a certain large increase in something that has previously been steady. It's when things have been in a quiescent moment or a quiescent period, which means a period of inactivity, a, a period when nothing is moving and, and, and nothing seems to be increasing in your life. Anybody been there? Amen. Anybody there in, in a season? Hallelujah. That seem like ain't nothing moving. It's steady, but it ain't moving. I'm here to declare to you today that God is about to move some things on your behalf. Hallelujah. And he's going to do it all of a sudden. Somebody say suddenly. Hallelujah. I know you've been waiting for some things to change, to come to pass. And I heard the Lord say, it's time to look up. Amen. Somebody say, look up. Today we are shifting into a new season, a season of the suddenlies of God. You ought to get excited about the suddenlies of God. You are about to see what you've been asking God to do. You are about to see it manifest. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. You got to believe God. Amen. You got to, when you hear the word of God and God has given you a prophetic word, you need to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I receive it. Lord, I believe it. Now, if you believe it, say suddenly. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God in himself declared in Isaiah 48 and 3 that what he has spoken out of his mouth what he spoke from the beginning will happen. And it will be done suddenly. Come on, move with me. Suddenly in our lives, they shall surely come to pass. Amen. In this season, you will experience the suddenlies of God. A suddenly is the things that will happen for you quick. Quicker than quick. Somebody said quicker than quick. I need God to move like quicker than quick. I need God to move like yesterday. I need God to move right now. Y'all y'all must not need him. I need him. I need you to move right now, Lord. On my behalf. On my child's behalf. On my family's behalf. Come on, I need you to move quickly. I need you to move right now, God. Hallelujah. I believe in the suddenly of God. Psalms 147 and 15 said, he sent it forth his commandment upon the earth. His word run it swiftly. It means a positive, dramatic interruption in your life. God ain't just going to show up. He's going to show up and show out. Hallelujah. In this season, he's going to show up and show out. With immediate blessings, with immediate surgings. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the scripture, suddenlies are always associated with the termination of negative issues and establishes that the move of the Holy Spirit in our life 
is dramatic. It is sudden. It is immediate. And when the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, hallelujah, suddenly. Acts 2 and 1 and 2 says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord. Hallelujah. And they were all in one place. I wonder if anybody in this house, hallelujah, today feel the suddenly of God. If you're in here, come on, come on. Give God a praise. Say, God, I believe you're about to move on my behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're about to move on my behalf. Somebody say, suddenly. I want you to prophetically speak suddenly. Like you believe that God is going to move suddenly on your behalf. Hallelujah. And suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind and it filled the house where they were sitting and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they all began to spin to speak in other tongues hallelujah they were on one accord they had one purpose they had one mind and suddenly the Holy Spirit filled them and they began to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Right there, you ought to be saying, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stir up the gift that's on the inside of you. Don't let the devil make you numb to what he's saying. Hallelujah. This was an audible manifestation of God. This was an audible manifestation of God. When they began to speak, that was an audible manifestation of God. They didn't get it by sitting there keeping their mouth shut. They all came together. They all came on one accord. And they began to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, thank you. Thank you for moving on my behalf. You're a great God. You're a good God. I trust the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody has started a gift. Start up your gift. Because God is about to do something on your behalf. He's about to move in your situation. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen, get your mouth in gear and begin to give God something to work with. His word is the seed that makes things grow in your life. Verbally confess his promises to you. Have God promised you anything? Did he promise you I'll make you the head and not the tail? Come on, did he promise you you above and not beneath? Come on, did he promise you I'll never leave you nor forsake you? I don't know about you, but he promised me that he'd never leave me nor forsake me. That he'd always be there. That he'd lift me up when I was down. Hallelujah. He protect me from the hand of my enemies. Have he told you anything? Begin declaring it. Somebody needs to put their seed in the ground. Hallelujah. See the atmosphere, people of God. You don't get things by not speaking the word. He said, ask and it shall be given. Hallelujah. When I say seed, I mean the word S-E-E-D. Put your seed out there. And when you put your seed out there, God's going to answer. He, you water it by prayer, by faith by fasting and by praying, by being faithful to God. And when it's your season, it shall surely spring up. Hallelujah. I was getting ahead of myself. Paul and Silas were suddenly delivered and set free. And when they were kept in, kept in a maximum prison, amen, they suddenly re received by faith what Jesus had came to offer them. 
What did God offer them? He broke them out. Amen. He delivered them from their prison. God wants to deliver you in this season of settling from whatever's been holding you bound. Hallelujah. What's ever been helping, keeping you in bondage, the enemy has been holding you captive. You may not be in a visible prison, but some of you are a prison to this world. You present to your prison to the things that the world is telling you with the things that you're seeing happening in the world. Your prison to depression. Your prison to anxiety you prison to stress you prisoner where are you god doubt and fear is starting to come over god's people i'm here to tell you today you are in a year a season of suddenness god said ah i will take your burdens far from you i will lift your heavy burden i will set you free if you begin to open your mouth and say lord Suddenly, remove this burden off my shoulder. Set me free. Hallelujah. He's setting us free. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Just keep stirring up your gift. Keep stirring up your gift. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, listen. Suddenly you will find yourself sought out rather than forsaken. When you start speaking the words of God, when you start speaking what God has said to you, he said some of us, he's been holding us captive like this is not my gift. Uh, this is not what I've been called to do. You know what he's been telling you. Come on. This is not my season. Maybe it's just not my season because it's been hard. But I want you to know that God said the devil is alive. It's time to arise. Hallelujah. It is time to arise and take your place in the anointing. Hallelujah. You will find your spirit and your soul roaring back to life as you do again what God has anointed you to do. What he anointed you to do, he anointed you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will speak to you words to help others in the midst of their turmoil once you've been set free. Hallelujah. Anybody got some turmoil? Anybody had some hell in their life? Let me just make it plain. Anybody going through hell? Anybody been through hell? Well, I want you to know right now, hallelujah, God is here to set you free today. Hallelujah. I declare a season of suddenly. A suddenly, a surge. Amen. It is your turn to suddenly receive divine intervention and provision in areas that you have waited for so long. Hallelujah. God will suddenly show up in your life. God is in a hurry to bless you. Somebody say in this season, he's in a hurry to bless me. Woo! I'm excited that God's in a hurry to bless me. Pastor Tori said, don't be, a, be afraid to ask God for unprecedented blessings in this season. Ha. In this season of suddenly, because God is releasing unprecedented favor. What am I saying? Unprecedented means something that's never happened before. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Listen. God's going to do things for you that ain't nobody else ever seen done before. Hallelujah. God has got to move, move on some businesses. Hallelujah. And you're going to say, what a crazy idea. But when you trust God and do what God tell you to do, and you step out and do it, you're going to see the suddenly of God. You're going to see how quick God 
turn it around. You're going to see how quick God give men into your bosom. You're going to see how quick your clientele increase. You're going to begin to see the suddenly of God. Somebody say suddenly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe it, say suddenly. Hallelujah. Psalms 102 and 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time of favor. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. Somebody say, my set time is here. Woo! My set time is here. Hallelujah. When God arises, sudden blessings unfold. When God arises... Ha! Your certain blessings that you've been waiting for unfold. That thing you've been waiting to see shall unfold. It shall come into fruition. Hallelujah. My mouth keeps being dry. Hallelujah. Y'all better hear this word. Receive this word. Amen. Listen. When God arises, sudden blessings unfold. In Jesus' mighty name, enter your season of dramatic turn around. Enter your season of breakthrough. Somebody say breakthrough. And suddenly, amen. Listen, in this suddenly season, God is restoring dreams that are long dead. They're coming back to life. Hallelujah. Woo! If anybody have a dream that they let go, hallelujah, because they didn't think it was God. I'm here to tell you that God's going to resurrect your dreams. God is going to resurrect your vision. God is about to move suddenly, hallelujah, and cause that thing that looked dead to come alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Shout suddenly. Suddenly, hallelujah. Woo, Jesus, Jesus. I, I saw my dream coming to life. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to do it quickly. I'm going to do it in a flash. God is going to give you strategies, creative thinking to bring that business, that idea of whatever God has given you back to pass. I mean, into pass. Hallelujah. You know what I'm trying to say. God said, in this season of suddenly, Suddenly, say suddenly, quickly, right away, immediately. Woo! God said that what the devil meant for your harm. Hallelujah! Suddenly, God is turning those things around, and you're gonna find yourself clothed with double honor instead of the intended shame. See, the devil meant it for your harm. But God meant it for your good. God's going to bless you double for your trouble. Somebody say, I got double for my trouble. Double for my trouble. In this season of suddenly, sudden blessings are beginning to fall on your children and your children, children. Now everybody in the house that got a child should be saying, hallelujah. Suddenly. Anybody need their children saved? Anybody in this house, you better believe God for a sudden move on, on your children. Your sons and your daughters' hearts will be turned back to God suddenly. Suddenly. They shall dream dreams and they shall prophesy. Suddenly. You will see the seeds you planted springing back up in their lives. Do you believe for it? Listen for it. And I guarantee you, you're going to see it. Amen. If you believe it, say suddenly. Come on, come on. The children of this, of this time, amen, have, have, have just went far from God. Amen. They have strayed far from God. And some of you say, Lord, I don't know. I, I don't know. I did the best I could. I, I, I did everything that I thought I was doing right that you told me to do. And they strayed away. God said, all I want you to do is just start speaking over their life. I want you to start speaking into them and calling them, say, prophet, 
I love your prophet Joe. I love your prophet Isaac. Whatever you name them, call their name out and say, you shall serve the Lord. Hallelujah. From your mama's womb, you were, you were born, hallelujah, to serve the Lord and declare and decree that you shall and they shall. Somebody say, my child shall surely serve the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Believe for it. What God has promised suddenly suddenly it shall be refilled fulfilled it would not take long for you to receive your breakthrough jesus said my father worketh hither to and i work john 5 and 17 god said i'm working it out even when you don't see me working i'm working even when you don't see it happening, it's happening. Amen. Don't go by what you see. Don't go by what they say. Don't go by what it looks like. Don't go by what it feels like. Go by what the word of God say. That I declare and decree over their life that they are saved. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, I declare and decree that my family is saved. I declare and decree that marriages are healed. I declare and decree that the sick shall recover. I declare and, de and decree that the dead shall rise. Pastor Tori said, don't you ever limit God. It's not by your power. It's not by your might, but it's by the spirit of the Lord. God is calling his people in this season to worship him for who he is, to praise him for who he is. And when you begin to worship and praise him for who he is, you will suddenly see the move of God moving in your life. Hallelujah. Anybody need a suddenly? Woo! Hallelujah. Now I hear God say, to everything, in Ecclesiastes 3, to everything, there's a season, there's a time, and there's a purpose under the sun. Hallelujah. This is a new season of suddenly. Say amen. Somebody say suddenly. A time of reaping, a time of blessing where God is ready to overwhelm you with his goodness. Anybody need an overwhelming blessing from the Lord? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And God said to end this with this, you all have got to, to go back to God and say, God, here I am. Here I am, God. I'm ready to be used by you. I'm a vessel, willing, submitted, humble to be used by you hallelujah god use my hands use my feet use my voice use me any way you want to god i will be satisfied come on come on so i say god today i speak a sudden as we enter this season of suddenly god said you're gonna have to praise me for it You gotta have to open your mouth. You gonna have to clap your hands. You gonna have to bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You can't have a straddled mind. This week I believe you, but next week I'm crying and under the bed and under the cover. God said, I want you to believe me at all times. Hallelujah, double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Hallelujah, God said, if I said it, I shall surely bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Is there any surely people in the house? Is there any people here that surely believe? Is there anybody in here that believe that God is about to turn it around for you? Come on, give him a hand break. Give him a hand break. Give him a hand break. Hallelujah. Psalms 126 says, when the Lord turn, somebody just needs to make a turn, turn the captivity of Zion around. We were all like them that dream. And then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues were singing.
singing. Hallelujah. If you believe that God is turning your captivity around, you need to stand to your feet. And you need to turn around. And while you're turning, God is shaking off all the weight, all the heaviness, all the load. God said, I am freeing you. I'm delivering you. I'm healing you. I'm setting you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you. Come on, keep turning. You can turn, turn. Come on, obey the Spirit. Come on, say, God, lift up and burden. Lift it off of me, God. God, restore my joy. Restore my peace. Restore my joy. Restore my family. Restore my marriage. Restore. Restore my health. Restore. Come on, why you turning? God is turning it around. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! I'm done. In this season of suddenness, you shall see God perform signs and wonders in the midst of your situation. Somebody say, I shall see. God performs signs. Let me tell you, he's still in the miracle working business. It was not just for the old days, the old time. It's for now. It's for you. He is still working miracles in your life. I have, a, I have a host of witnesses in this house that were present with me many years ago. Amen. And I was in a church service and in the midst of the church service. And we were praying and, 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 and doing deliverance over people. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, somebody says sudden. I passed out. And I was like in a dream. I, I, I could see everything that was going on. But, and I could hear what they were saying. And I heard some of the nurses and some of them are here that were registered nurses working at the hospital and they were there. My apostle was a nurse for 28 years at that time. And now I hear them y'all and they're saying she's not breathing. She's not breathing. She's not breathing. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, uh, she's not breathing. And somebody else said, oh, she's gone. She's gone. And, and, and the apostle said, oh no, oh no. If you don't believe, get out the room. God telling some of y'all, if you don't believe it, just don't be hot or cold. Get in and out. And all of a sudden, I heard the apostle say, now I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. They think I'm dead. They think I'm dead. But God had another plan. But anyway, so I'm out. And I hear the apostle say, the Lord said that nobody call an ambulance. If you don't believe it, just leave the room. Because God's about to perform a miracle. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden she said, I, 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 I hear God say that I need some water. I need some water. Yeah, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? And, and he said, I need some water. And, and, and they said, okay, we'll get you something and we'll, we'll put the water in it. She said, oh no. God told me to put the water in my hand. In the anointing of my hand. My hands are anointed. And, and she went to the bathroom that was close. And she got some water. And she threw the water on my face. She said, one for the Father. Hallelujah. Come on. Stay with me. Come on. Come on. Keep praying. Then she said, I got to go back again. Then she said, I got to go back again. She went back and she got some water in her hand. And she said, one for the sun. True. And she threw it on me. And I wasn't moving. But at the same time, God was talking to me. He was saying, I ain't through with you yet. He said, I'm not done with you yet. There's still work for you to do. You can't come on over here. I won't tell you the whole story. But let me tell you, she went back again and she said, 
get in this one for the Holy Ghost. She went back and got the water and head. She came back and she threw it on my face. And she said, for the Holy Ghost. And when she did that, I opened my eyes open. I came back to life. I heard the nurses say, she's breathing. She's alive. She's alive. You looking at a miracle. Hallelujah. You're looking at a miracle. He was there. It's a miracle. What miracles have he done in your life? You might not have been dead in the natural. But some of you are allowing things to hold you down. And you're dying in the spirit. God said in this year, come on. I'm bringing your spirit back to life. You're coming back to me. Lord, I'm coming back to you. Somebody say, Lord, I'm coming back to you. As you come back to God, you're going to begin to see the suddenly of God manifest in your life. Somebody say, thank you. Suddenly. Hallelujah. You got to believe God. When you say sudden leaves, instead of sudden lee, the leaves, the L-I-E-S, the L-E-E-S, however you want to say it, means continual. The more you build your faith, and the more you step out on faith, you're going to see one miracle after another one. You're going to see one manifestation of God after the other. And that's why he says sudden lee. Sunny leaves, he's gonna perform sudden leaves in your life. The word is in your mouth, the word is in your tongue. Speak over yourself, speak over your life. Don't let your life be determined by what people say and what people think of you. Got over that long time ago, what you think about me. It's not what you think about me that counts. It's what I think about me and what God thinks about me that counts. What do you think about God? Is he all powerful? So powerful? Is he the all-knowing God? Is he, he the omnipotent God? Is he Alpha and Omega? Is he your beginning and your end? Praise him for it at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually, 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 continually. When the kids are acting a fool, continually. When the bills are due, continually. When my body is aching, continually. I will bless the Lord at all times. I love the Lord. Keep him first. Now, 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 let me tell you. We're going to ask those who are ready to believe God for the impossible. He is a God of impossible. He makes impossible possible. He is the person of sudden lease. We're not going to really force you to do anything. But as a statement to God to say, God, I'm ready to make you my all in all. I'm ready to give you first place in my life. Then we're going to ask you if you would come down. And just say, I'm just making a statement. That I'm making you my all in all. That I'm believing that that thing I've been praying for, I'm about to see it. 
that thing that the doctors told you was going to hurt you, harm you, cripple you, whatever. And you say, God, I, want, I, want, I believe you that you are a healer. That you are a deliverer. Hallelujah. I'm coming to just say, to lift my hands in agreement with the saints of God. That it shall be done. I'm going to count to three and I want you just to come down and just to say, God, I agree that this is my suddenly season. That's all. I don't want y'all going in no deep prayer. I want you to because God said out of your mouth. You know, like with baptism, when you, when you get baptized, uh, they say that it's, a, it, it's an outward sign of your transformation, of, 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 of your, of your uh, uh, rededication or uh, your dedication to God. That's all we're saying in this point. Just say, God, I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see it. And you're about to see it. Amen. So I'm going to count to three. One. Two, three. Come on down. 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 Come on. Thank those who are obedient. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just say, I believe it. I believe it. Just, just come on down. Come on. We're not. Come on. We're not going deep with you. We're just gonna say we believe it. Those of you who are not down, just lift your hands and say, I'm in agreement. Come on, lift your hands. If you're in honest, pray with the people. Pray for yourself. Pray with the people. And say, I believe I'm going to see it. I believe it. Amen. I believe it. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you say, I just need a prayer of agreement. I just, the devil's been messing with my mind. He's been messing with my head and then trying to make me doubt God. And I, I just need a prayer of agreement. I want you to come on down. Amen. I just need somebody to agree with me that the devil is a liar. And that God has me coming. Hallelujah. Suddenly. Suddenly. It's turning around. Favor. Hallelujah. This is my season. This is my season. This is my season. For grace. For grace. For favor. And this is. It's your season. It's your season.
for favor. For favor. This is my it's your season to read. This is my seat for grace, for favor. This is my seat to read what I have sown. Thank you, Lord. For grace, for favor. This is your season, amen. This is my season for breakthrough. My season for grace, my season for favor. Hallelujah. God is in this place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What God is working with these people, with these awesome souls of God. If there's anybody in here that just say, I want to come to God. I want to know God as my Lord and as my Savior. I've known of Him, but I want to know Him. If you're in here and you say, I want to know Him my God I give my life I want to give my life he's already given his life for your life but I want to give my life to God if you're here you can come down amen amen God loves you amen Everything is working together for my good. It's working, it's working, it's working. Everything is working together for my good. For my good. Oh, yes. It's working for my good. It's working together. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's working for my good. It's 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 working for my good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's working for my good. Oh, oh, oh. For my good, 
Everything is working yes, it is. together Thank you, Lord. for my good. Yes, this is my season for holiday. For favor. 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 This is my season to reap what I Come on, let's just say hallelujah. Yes. Come on, come on, let's just give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand praise. Come on, come on. Say, I bless you for this moment. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. God don't want you to let this moment, this, this time, his word fall on death ears. Amen. I don't want you when you leave here to f forget that you are in a suddenly season. When that thing come to you and try to tell you something else, say, I'm in a suddenly season. Anything can happen now. Anything can happen now. In a moment, in a second, it's about to happen. Amen. Because you're in a season of suddenlies. Amen. We thank God for his work today. We thank God for all. Let's give a hand clap to all the ministers today.